in the simplest terms, we're we're qualifying our our products to ensure that they have the quality imaging that we require to move forward. That's phase one. And then as we transition through phase one, we go into phase two, where we're testing in larger groups in uh, sick patients and uh, doing comparables and and uh, collecting all the data that's required for our FDA applications in 2025. All right, welcome back inside our proactive newsroom. Joining me now is Brent Willis. He's the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals. And Brent, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. So last time you and I talked, you talked about uh, the, the the next selection of your, your products that you're going to be launching. And in you just had a news release out talking that starting in, in Q1, so right away, in fact, you're going to be doing some human testing on those. So let's take a step back and remind everyone a little bit about these these products that are going to be released and what they'll be used for. Sure. Uh, we have five uh, Health Canada licensed products. They're bearing contrast products used in X-ray and CT. And... Uh, in radiology, uh, we require drugs to uh, highlight the uh, images, and uh, these drugs are in short supply. Uh, the minerals required to manufacture them are in short supply, and uh, North America is 100% import dependent, so we're looking at uh, filling the gaps by uh, reducing the uh, supply chain issues and being a, a sole provider in North America for radiology drugs. So as we mentioned, it's a it's a, a number of them: Smooth X, Smooth HD, LD, Vision HD, and Vision LD. So as I mentioned, they're going to go through some rigorous testing. So tell me how this testing will work and and what you're hoping to get out of this. What kind of markers you're looking for? Sure, we're we're, we're testing uh, in a clinical setting, and uh, in the simplest terms, we're we're qualifying our our products to ensure that they have the quality imaging that we require to move forward. That's phase one. And then as we transition through phase one, we go into phase two, where we're testing in larger groups in uh, sick patients and uh, doing comparables and, and uh, collecting all the data that's required for our FDA applications in 2025. So in the U.S., it's uh, classified as a drug, and in Canada, it's classified as a, uh, a health supplement. So we have uh, a lot of leeway in Canada moving forward. We can get into sales very quickly, and uh, as we... Uh, transition with the FDA, we are expecting sales in the U.S. in uh, 2026. Yeah. So in, in essence, you're hoping to have uh, these products uh, available for, for purchase in 2025 here in Canada. And then, as you mentioned, in the U.S. in the following year. That's right. Canada and uh, international markets that accept Health Canada licensing, we're targeting those markets as well. So uh, we're expecting revenue here to begin generating here sometime within the first half of uh, 2025. Uh, we're working to get that done as early as possible, of course, and uh, and we'll we'll transition our products and displace the current products that are in the market slowly over this next year, and then uh, really ramp up sales in 2026. Yeah, and one last question, Brent, and I know you've asked this, I've asked you this before, but I find it uh, intriguing that the fact that this particular space hasn't really had anything new in it for for quite some time. Can you talk sort of about the the space that you're going into? Yeah, we're, we're going up against one large big pharma company that uh, has a dominant uh, for years in this uh, this segment with the bearing contrast. And uh, we're also adding to our portfolio iodine. We're, we're creating some uh, iodine products down the road here, and we're looking at fully vertically integrating that with producing our own iodine minerals. So we're, we're all about vertical integration, and uh, and that's where we stand out because when you vertically integrate, you're producing your own strategic minerals that are required for these drugs, and uh, no one does that. And when you do that, you reduce your costs significantly. Yeah. Brent, thanks so much. I look forward to hearing more about uh, the testing when uh, when it gets uh, completed. And we'll have you back, of course, to update on, on everything that's going on with the company. So I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Brent Willis, the CEO of Voyager Pharmaceuticals.